good evening. Warmly welcome to Sunday edition of the news live from the studios of Metro TV. My name is Ayasumwa. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, today is World Day against human trafficking. We will reveal the plight victims go through on a daily basis. Fifty-year-old fetish priest sodomizes fourteen-year-old boy at Pram Pram here in the Greater Accra region. Kasapreko Ghana Limited adjudged best in non-traditional exports at this year's Export Achievements Awards. And elsewhere on the continent, dozens of students killed in Nigerian college attack, leaving several others injured. Details of these and others come up shortly this day. Hello again, and as we mark World Day Against Child uh, Human Trafficking, Metro News brings you an abridged version of an investigative report which exposed an alleged human trafficker the ordeal victims of human trafficking go through on a daily basis. Luring people to other countries under the guise of providing them better source of livelihood is frowned upon by most countries in the world. Human trafficking is a, a global challenge that we all must work closely together. It is a scourge on human history and uh, we are very committed to working to end the trafficking of persons across the world. The practice often leave victims abused, cheated and permanently traumatized. The reality is that once people step across that line into illegal behavior, you, 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 you can become manipulated by them. And sadly, uh, the consequence for many uh, people who are trafficked and for their families is that um, the people are, end up involved in criminal activity, um, possibly even something as terrible as sexual slavery. In part one of our investigations into the dark world of a Ghanaian lady behind the abuse and trafficking of young vulnerable ladies to Europe,